Call me Bucky Nick, it's lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about nigga rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how you find a hood, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how you fuck a bunch of bitches, but they still respect the women? He's a rolling, it's a nice. As we get close to the All Star break, Frank, what's the vibe like in the locker room post trade deadline? It's great if you're a playoff team and just knowing your GM wanted to keep you on the squad. Plus, you've got a little break coming up. So lots of happy dressing rooms right oh, now. Fuck. I'm checking out Utah's opening lineup. Adonavich and Vanderbilt are the forwards. Sexton is out there with George Hill. And it's Cousins in at the five, roaming the paint. <laughs> and no real surprise to see that MV will be on the Rising Stars roster. It would be a travesty, I think, Greg, if he was left off. And you look at the rest of the players in that game. So it's the Knicks now. Here's T. Here's Robinson. Come on, bro. by DeMarcus Cousins. What are we doing? DeMarcus Cousins? Oh, hell no. Now Bogdanovich. Pass to Hill. Pass to Cousins. Outside, Sexton. Cousins go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. There's a screen by Robinson. Out to Barrett. Just five to shoot. Randall with a screen for Barrett. And he misses his first shot of the game. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue. Why oh, you still got them big-ass numbers? Now, here's Sexton. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has it's been tough. a constant for them. And he'll the bucket on the assist by Cousins. Opportunities. And Greg, starting your career with the Knicks, Shit, what's here. the pressure like playing in New York City? I tell you, the amount of media following you, the, the size of the city... Think back to those great Utah teams of the 80s and 90s. Seems hard to believe those Jazz didn't win a title or two. Kevin, well, if it wasn't for a player named Michael Jordan, they probably would have. Those Stockton Malone Jazz teams ran into Jordan twice in the finals when he was at the peak of his career. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. And Brunson has it Work in the that corner. Nigga, bro. And up strong with one hand and face down the one hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. Oh, oh shit. There's Hill. And foul Tough. on the shot. He'll shoot two. Range when they get going. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And it's been a rough stretch for the New York Knicks, a team that has only had a handful of playoff appearances in the last 20 years. T, the pass for Robinson. And he floats in for the E. You had a chance to talk with head coach Will Hardy. Thanks, Kevin. I asked him which part of their offensive scheme they feel confident in, and he said, to no surprise, outside shooting. He told me our guys can flat out kill it from deep. So we're going to try to get that dialed up early on. We will see, Kevin. Back to you. All right. Thank you, David. The Knicks are trying to get back to being competitive, GA, but it has been difficult, hasn't it? They haven't been able to attract top-level talent for quite some time, which is surprising when you consider this big market and, and the status this franchise has within the city. Now, here is Hill. After the miss from T, Cousins dishes to Bogdanovich. Robinson Let's go. And that will be Utah. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Love the hustle there defensively. Randall staying active and alert. The Knicks have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Here's T. Let's go. And finished off by Robinson. Determined finisher. Now, here's Sexton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. It's Barrett on the wing. He's covered by Bogdanovich. It's stolen by Hill. Cousins with it. Out of ended by Randall. Cousins, the pass to Hill. 
And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. And Sexton has it in the corner. The Jazz with another miss. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Going inside and foul on the shot. So Dan Utah. The Jazz fans are behind their team no matter what. It's always striking, Greg. Just to take the team to heart. And we see it in cities like Portland and San Antonio as well. The fans form that attachment to their team. The Knicks making a switch here. Toppins checked in. As a shooter, Clarkson can be so efficient. He gets the ball and goes right into his shot. Here's T. Oh, guys. Misses. oh, here's Butler. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Bogdanovich, no luck. And Randall has got the ball here for New York. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out Bruh. is what to the plate there. Seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. And the three ball is good. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Butler. 11 points for him in that last game against Toronto. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up and they... Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And Hill has it in the corner. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. T is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the center. That's the five for New York right now. Come on, bro. Here's T. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And he really controlled the pace of the... Let's go! On free throw good from T. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win... Oftentimes, you do. And he gets it to go. T's got 11. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Oh, shit. Hill with it. He's got eight. Clarkson outside. Cousins with a screen on Barrett. Pulls up. And that one hits back iron. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Randall a screen on Vanderbilt. T the pass. Bro. It's stolen by Hill. Passes it to Cousins. It's back to Hill. Look at that shit, nigga. Start up. Here's T. 11 points in the game. Here's the three. Rebound by DeMarcus Cousins. Jazz trail by three. Rip this nigga, bro. Outside, Sexton. Dishes to Clarkson. Vanderbilt, a screen on Barrett. The kick out to Hill. Three-pointer. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Hill's got the game tied up here for the Jams. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, T in that last outing against Philadelphia played some huge minutes. He had 30 points, and his passing was just incredible. He piled up an impressive number of assists. And there was nothing the defense could do. He simply couldn't be stopped out there. We'll see if he can come up with a similar effort tonight. Bruh. Devin?
fun out there. Tremendous victory. Now, I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Team. Rebounded by Clarkson. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. That is game three of this four-game trip. It's rebounded by Barrett. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Kept alive. Handle no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Hill kicks to Clarkson. Up top, Cousins. Down low. Sexton slams it in. This is what Cousins gives you. Next trail by four. Here's T. 11 points right. in the game. Robinson a screen on Hill. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Oh. Throws. Hill dishes to Sexton. Markinen sets the pick for Sexton. Shoots over Brunson. Robinson with the block. And the rebound Let's battle go. split evenly thus far. Bang. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play. And Greg, in the era of positionless basketball, Mitchell Robinson is an old school center, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, during his first four years in the league, Robinson did attempt a single three. It has led the league in shooting percentage, so Mitchell knows his role. And so here is New York. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Team. And contact on the shot. So. And that drops in for Jalen Brunson. The chance also changing it up. Mans checked in for Colin Sexton. And it's Butler in for George Hill. Now here's Butler. He's got five. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Butler. Pass to Markinen from the arc. The shot comes out, and New York the other way now. Last time they met was in Utah, where they beat the Jazz. Well, last time out, they got the win in Let's get it. because of the play of their bench. Here's Mann after the main shot from T. Arkanen can't get it to go. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Here's T. They get a bet, and Robinson throws it down. To win his league, who can make those kinds of plays? You know, this is one of his specialties keeping plays. On Welcome to halftime, everybody. Right now, the New York Knicks are providing quite an entertaining and close game. Man, they're getting downhill. They're getting their feet wet in the paint, not settling for those jumpers in uncontested, Jack. They are getting uncontested looks at the rim. Well, just what Dr. O'Neill ordered, throw your weight around, move some furniture, make things happen. Move some furniture? It's going to be some furniture moving in here. Keep talking crazy to me over here. Kenny, wake up. You're dreaming. And now, time to glance at the power rankings midway through this regular season. Well, I think for the Knicks, they've been playing well since we last ran the rankings. What do you think, Arnie? Have you been impressed with them? Well, they've won three out of their last four. Not too shabby, if you ask me. And you did. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's Will Hart. He's fine. Bogdanovich and Vanderbilt are the forwards. Sexton is out there with Hill, and it's Cousins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You, you want to see more passing from him. Here's T. He's guarded by Hill. T. Utah with the rebound. Hill looking it over. He kicks it to Cousins. 
Good. The Come on, bro. Goes to Hill. Now it's a three-point Jazz lead. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Takes a three. A rebound by the Jams. Vanderbilt's got four rebounds now tonight. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Right side hill. Hell no, not again. What the f And for Cousins, so many ways he can take you on the offensive end, especially with his long range ability. Here's G. 17 points in the game for three. Barrett. Rebound, Utah. Cousins has got eight rebounds in this game. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. And they're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this team. Nothing easy on UMP. We've Next trail by eight. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Most of their chances. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. The one run. Here's Hill. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. And so he hits both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Here's G. He's guarded by Hill. Let's go. Beyond the arc. Brunson's got five points so far. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Cousins with a screen for Sexton. Right block shot, and he nails the jumper. Sexton's got his second basket of the game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Let's check Fuck. in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Fuck. Robinson didn't play basketball, but a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that. Come on, bro. David, thanks. Pat Donovich wide open. The putback, it's good on the putback. And the Jazz lead by 12. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. There's a screen by Robinson. And then Robinson slash slam cam. Here's Cousins. The Knicks making the shot. That one falls. Cousins has got the lead up to 12 now for Utah. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Here's T. And the call on the uh, making it rain from the three point land right now. Not the hustle we've seen on the boards. They're getting after it and cashing in on second chance scoring opportunities. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. The Jazz also changing it up. Ari Markinen's checked in for Cousins. Larson comes in for Vanderbilt. And it's Butler in for George Hill. Really left alone that time. Markinen's got his second basket of the night. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead and they should count themselves to be lucky. Here's T. 20 points for him. Here's Randall. And that's in. Nice feet on the play. Randall's got his first points of the game. Anytime you can get Randall moving toward the rim, that's a good thing. Damn. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randall is a softball. Let's go. Are different for lefties. We it's money. A little differently. T. And here's Clarkson. He's got 17. Here's the dish to Markinen. Great pass to set up the lay in. Markinen's got seven points in the game. This shows Markinen's 
understanding of the game. You play me to shoot from the outside. Well, I'm Bro, going come here, guys. What you doing? Here's T. Yeah. And he's good on the three ball. Here's Markinen. That shot off the mark. So New York will take it the other way. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Randall right side. Second chance shot. There's the triple. Bruh. The Knicks rebound. Martenstein. Tough Come on, man. There. They just couldn't get it to fall. Jazz leading by eight. Butler on the way. But Trey and Utah another three. Not just a score. Throws in for Jalen Brunson. Mans checked in for the Jazz. Here's T. 25 points in the game. Mismatch, bro. Put it up. Top and inside. Defended by Butler. That's why I need to ride the bench. Can't get it to go. Clarkson outside. Beyond the arc. No good that time. Knicks trail by 11. There's a screen by Toppin. Here's T. And that one clearly a foul. Get. That free throw. No good. And he's good on the second. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. He feeds it to Clarkson. And that one is hammered home. The man is a microwave. This team loves Clarkson's take charge attitude when it comes to scoring. Here's T. 26 points for him. New York, no good that time either. Jazz leading by 12. Butler on the way. Inside, unloads, and no good. Trying to use the glass. New York shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. T, the pass to Hartenstein. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Well, their pass it to Mann. Larkin in a screen on Rose. Here's Mann. The kick outside Bruh. to Butler. From outside, off the mark. The Knicks shooting at 46%, making some buckets. The pass to Hartenstein. The kick out to Rose. There's a screen. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Markinen. Clarkson outside. Shoots from 12. And he hits the jump shot. Clarkson's got four points this quarter. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Here's T. Hard to imagine, but the stats are tremendous as he averages close to 27 points a game. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Butler on the way. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go that time. And so it's Utah going into the break with it. Knicks trail by nine. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. T is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett at the three spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Come time. If that one had come bruh. later, it come on, bruh. Katie bar the door. They've done a great it's job, off. but they're not done yet. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. Robinson a screen on Cousins. Here's T, and out of bounds as the Jazz gain That's possession. Me. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Outside Hill kicks it to Sexton. Cousins dishes to Sexton. A floater. They get the rebound. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. T, the pass to Robinson. He gets that one. Has them at a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Sexton kicks to Vanderbilt. 
Cousins with a screen on Barrett. Man passes to Cousins. It's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Two on the clock, bro. With the ball, and he did that. Bogdanovich just checked in. Shut out here. How about this one, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. And Randall throws it down. Cousins with a screen on Brunson. Sexton finds Cousins. Let's go. Stolen by Robinson. Passes to T. Randall a screen on him. Into the lane. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Up it down low as often as possible. Well, tonight is draw fouls. Time and time again throughout this game, they won trips to the line and converted. Brunson against Sexton. Driving inside. Shoots over Brunson. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got four points now in the quarter. And that bucket should stop the bleeding. Robinson a screen on him. T the pass to Robinson. And the dunk by Robinson. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up. And now we have a game. Now here is Hill. Feeds it to Cousins. And there's the whistle. Three Let's go. Possession. And the Knicks with possession. They're on a 19-5 run. Here's T. He's guarded by Hill. T the pass to Robinson. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. Here's T. He's guarded by Hill. Driving to the basket. Barrett for three. Hits the Woo! three point five. Let's go. Barrett's got his first three points of the game. Mentality and his ability to rise to the occasion. Randall a screen on him. T the pass to Randall. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Robinson pulls it in. Let's go. Robinson's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Him. There's a screen by Robinson. And Brunson has it in the corner. Here's T. Floats it up for Randall. <sighs> Hill with it. Now guarded by T. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. Goes back up. He lays it in. Vanderbilt's got it all tied up now for the Jams. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good. Give me that. Poor communication defensively. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant. good from T. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Sexton against Brunson. And the call will be against Julius Randle. Now Sexton. Cousins with a screen on Brunson. Sexton kicks to Cousins. Off target with his three. New York leading by three. The and fuck? A rejection by Cousins. Oh, hell no. When DeMarcus Cousins is blocking shots. This defense takes on a whole different attitude. That rip. Get the fuck Outside Bogdanovich. What the fuck is y'all doing? Oh my god. A tremendous three to tie it up. Bruh. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. T the best oh, no. And here's Brunson. Here's T. Just fine on the clock. Bruh. Pulls it in. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Utah. 
There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Cousins with a screen for Zexton. Oh no. Misses the three. Fuck that. I got this. I got this shit. Here's T. For the win. Oh. Chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. These teams have battled two the on the bench. four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. The Come forward on, bro. spots will be Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Rose, and it's Robinson in at the center, locking down the middle. Now here's Cousins. Arkenden dishes to Cousins. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh no! For three. Come Good on, Cuz. Coach, give me the game, Cuz. In the game. Sims got the first basket here in overtime for the Jams. Mondi Rose. Now here's Rose. Shoots off the step back, good and shit. the jumper is good. The threat of Rose's drive unlocks opportunities for his jumper, and he knows how to capitalize. That's to Cousins. Great action here if you're just telling us about one minute into OT. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Randall finds Robinson and finished off by Robinson. What a beautiful look. Randall continues to round out his game in the prime of his career. Utah calls timeout. Come on, bro. Y'all got to put me back in. Outside, Sexton. To the inside. It's stolen by Randall. Here's Brunson. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Utah will come the other way. Brunson against Sexton. Here's Bogdanovich. It's tough. The basket good off the it's assist. Tough. Give me back in, Coach. Oh, my God. We run out of time. The Knicks have gone two or three from the floor as we've gotten this overtime period underway. Tallest down, bro. The shit. And Rose with the lean. And the Knicks lead by one. The leadership role with Derrick Rose taking the responsibility of a big possession right there. Put everything on his shoulders. Here's the two drop. Robinson with the block. All right, coach, give me in. Give me in. That went off Robinson. Here's Sexton. Marking in a screen on Brunson. Five on the clock. Hell no. It's rebounded by New York. Handle down low. Arkin and on him. Oh, right. Second chance effort. And the Let's go. Three point play chance here for him. A double digit rebounder in college. Randall can control the glass when that's his focus. That's his third. First team foul. Julius Randall at the line. That free throw good from Randall. As big a basket as that was, the free throw probably even bigger. Now you've got a two possession lead all of a sudden. Now here's Sexton. It's overtime basketball, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Randall with the block. Hell Stay no. Connected. Oh my god. Perfectly. Randall's showing he can make plays at both ends. Randall against Markinen. It's Randall with the drive. Just kidding. And he banks in the lane. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Defense! 
and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And for a point guard like Sexton, a guy who handles the ball in big moments, you'll be at the line in this spot a ton. Two shots. Shooting two. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. <laughs> trying to focus now on the second. <laughs> and the aggressiveness yeah. that Sexton plays with is it's infectious. He, he motivates his teammates to play just as hard. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that narrows the lead down to just three. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, still a one-possession game. That's a two. Oh, hell no. Oh my God! Too long on the shot. What the fuck is Not he doing? Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Here's Hill. Cut it. What the that's fuck? A big time basket. Come on, right coach. Put me in the game, Hill bro. Coming through. Let's go. Love the energy from the guys, coach. Let's finish this shit. Shot and game clock separated by five. <laughs> so the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Cousins with a screen on Brunson. The 10 foot oh, no. misses off the right iron. Let's go, bro. Put him away. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. And so, Sexton will bring it up for Utah. Outside, Bogdanovich. Another miss by Utah. Game. And he can't... Those are good, and it's a seven-point game. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They, they just seem to have lost their energy. Max down the trifecta. This is what leaders do. You got to love seeing Sexton own these moments and coming up. Clutch. So a close game sees New York the take game this one. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. And, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of they our terrific 2K you. Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.